Hey everybody, what is going on? Today we are going to be doing a couple things to the Scrambler. We're going to be putting on some engine protectors, some bark busters, and most importantly, later in this episode, we will be putting on the new exhaust. I'm going to go and get it installed at Ducati Austin. Uh, I don't really feel like doing it myself, honestly. Um, and we also are going to route a charge cable all the way up to the little X-mount. A couple of things here and there, so join us for this episode. And then uh, later on, we will take it out for a ride and enjoy that new exhaust. So stay tuned for that. So here are the parts we're installing. These are the two Evotech Bark Busters. Uh, we've got these two little uh, brake covers right here, but um, I think we're just going to have to have one because it is a single brake system right here on the Ducati. Uh, and then we've got a couple covers here, and then we've got this uh, front uh, fork slider right here. Um, funny story. So I ordered some uh, T-Rex racing uh, engine covers for the Scrambler, um, but weirdly enough, they got shipped to my place here in Austin, but I cannot find them. I believe it was shipped via USPS. It was never my mailbox it's, it's a weird situation with the with the engine case covers uh, I need to find out where they are because I have not found them yet they were delivered like 10 days ago so no one knows where they are anyways let's install this stuff alrighty one down one to go <coughs> alright guys we just finished up the clutch side of things uh, as you can tell I did break off this lever I got a little too overzealous on one of the trails I was on and uh, dropped the bike. I'm getting that swapped out whenever we get the new exhaust on. Now I'm going to route up the uh, connector from the USB, tidy it up all the way through here, have nice powered connection to the ram mount. So we're going to route the cable from the plug uh, through here under the seat. It actually has a really nice little cutout through here so I kind of snuck it in through there. And then I'm going to zip tie it up here a little bit and then find a solution for over here and let it kind of sit right here where it needs to. Okay guys, we just uh, ran the new cable through here. It's really simple stuff. I decided to switch it from this side to this side. It's a bit easier. So it's now running from the USB through here and then out through here I put two little Ziploc ties and then we're connected right here. As you see we turn on and we're charging. Of course I'm on the Discord server with my sweet boys. Now we're gonna move on to the next stuff. Alrighty guys, so a quick recap of what we actually did on the Scrambler today. Let's walk through some of that right now. So we got the new uh, Evotech Bark Busters, hand guards, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this one was kind of a pain in the ass to install. The fitment wasn't quite right. Uh, this one went pretty okay, but this one, uh, the fitment was kind of iffy. Uh, I'm not super sold on Evotech's fit and finish, man, honestly. Like their levers didn't really work out. Uh, this fit over here wasn't that great so not my preferred uh aftermarket company to be honest went through and installed the guards over here we've got two new little guards right here uh we've got the new guard on the brake reservoir not brake reservoir jesus the brakes then we tucked in through this little cable here this is to use my phone while i'm riding it's uh hooked up to the usb back here and then we installed this quick little uh, protector back here. We're now gonna do a quick little bit of maintenance and just kind of uh, lube and uh, clean the chain. And then she'll be all ready for tomorrow where we will get the new exhaust on and do a little bit of service on her. So, yeah. All right guys, now we're gonna get a little exhaust clip of the stock exhaust on the Scrambler so that tomorrow when we put on the new system, we can get a comparison for it. So let's take a listen. Alrighty guys, uh, actually just had the exhaust installed over at Ducati Austin. Uh, 
Normally I would do it myself, but you know what? In the interest of time, I had a couple other things come up and I wasn't able to do it, but let's take a look at this exhaust. As you can tell, it is an Aero system. It was provided to us by Motivation USA. Go and check them out in the link in the description below. They were nice enough to provide us with this wonderful system here. As you can tell, inside the pipe, we've got no baffle on right now, which is uh, pretty sweet. I do think I will be putting the baffle on because it is quite loud right now. I uh, don't really love how loud it is. But yeah, as you can tell, it utilizes the stock headers right here. Uh, so these are the actual stock headers from the system. And all it did was actually remove the cat and then add on this new pipe. And then we've got a rapid bike ECU system tucked away under in here, professionally installed over at Ducati Austin. They were also nice enough to clean up uh, this wiring job right over here for the iPhone cable. So that's nice of them. Uh, let's get a quick startup and sound check of this bike. So as you can tell, it sounds incredibly mean. It is very loud, but now let's take it out on the road and uh, let you guys hear how it sounds in real life. We're gonna do a vlog style with it and then tune in at the end of the video. We're gonna do a Royal Jordanian pure exhaust sound video with it. So let's go. Alrighty guys, we're now out on the Scrambler with its brand new exhaust. Still looking clean as ever. Uh, in the short time that I've been riding this thing though, we've got to, got to, got to get the baffle on there. Um, I gotta put the baffle on there, it's too loud. Uh, and I know a lot of you will hear it in video and be like, oh my god, it sounds so great. How could you want to put a baffle in it? Blah, blah, blah. You guys don't understand. For a street bike, you want it loud, you want it nice. You don't want it this loud. Um, it's actually annoying on the highway, and it's just kind of ridiculous overall. But just so you get a feel for it, let's get a quick start up again. So I'm going to go down this road and vlog a little bit, and then I'm going to flip around and do a Royal Jordanian style uh, exhaust clip setup on it. Nate, I'm just checking to see if my mic is still connected. You can edit all this out. Okay, it is. I mean, it sounds so mean. Reminds me a lot of the FZ07, but with just a little more of that a Ducati flair. So, let's get going. We're gonna go up here and take a left, and then uh, head out on this nice road. Luckily, it's not very populated. tell it's uh, extremely loud I'm having to like actually yell over it I'm wearing earplugs and I still can it's it's so loud dude one of my favorite things about a full exhaust though is this thing I'm trying to get it to do some pops and crackles I mean, don't get me wrong, it sounds awesome, but uh, <laughs> it's crazy how loud it is. One of my favorite things is uh, when you let off the throttle and you give it some maintenance, and then how, f how incredible it sounds. I'll try to show you. It does it at slower speed, so let me show you this. It's like you're cruising, you let off, and then... Oh, it sounds so sweet. This bike is so much fun to ride, man, I'm telling you. In any conditions. Taking it out on some light trails, some back roads like this. Man, it's a blast. I mean, right now I'm literally having to yell to hear myself over it, and I have earplugs in and a helmet on, so I can't even imagine how loud it is outside. I'm stuck behind this Camry. No worries, we'll just flip around at the end of the road. You just 
want to downshift and shift up whenever you don't need to, like right here, we'll just... People don't understand the power of the scrambler, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, people really don't understand the power of the scrambler, dude. This bike is a blast to ride. It's basically like a supermoto with some awesome retro looks and a V-twin. That's basically how it feels from the saddle. It's so narrow and awesome. Oh my god. People really don't believe it, but the Scrambler can't actually get it on a back road, even on these tires. I outran an R6 the other day. <laughs> It's really all about the rider, man. Not to say that I'm some kind of great rider or something like that, but you can really get it with the Scrambler. And then, of course, you can always stand up and just enjoy the breeze, because this bike has perfect ergonomics for standing up. We'll try to rev it out for you guys here a little bit. Car up ahead. I mean, it's just pure auditory pleasure that's all that's happening here with this bike. It's unreal. But it's got, I gotta put the baffle on it because it is a bit too loud, honestly. <laughs> Do you hear that? to ride standing up on the spike, honestly. Look over, you see the front wheel. Very nice. It's funny how you can really take most corners standing up if you want at a normal speed. Gosh, this bike really is just a do-anything motorcycle, isn't it? I, oh, I love this thing. It's so sweet. Alright guys, that's going to conclude the vlog portion of this, of me talking while riding this wonderful exhaust. Now I'm going to get some raw clips of me just riding around. Uh, I'm going to put the task cam or the recorder in my back pocket here, and uh, we'll get some cool shots for you, so stick around and enjoy that. Right, guys thanks so much for watching this episode hope you enjoyed uh, some exhaust clips on the scrambler uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't yet also check out the links below for our motorcycle giveaway we have a brand new Yamaha R3 and Suzuki SV650 up for grabs so make sure you join up on that and make sure you check that out thanks so much for watching again tune in next time I'll see you later